All right, YouTubers, welcome to another video. Today we're going to see if we can change the color of the LED lights when the doors are opened and maybe something else also. All right, so when the truck is on, there's some ambient lighting here. You can change the color of this lighting also um, through the settings. I'll show you real quick how to do this, just in case your truck has it also and you've never seen it before. ambient lighting so you can change it to red green blue orange whatever you can see it changed the colors here orange red green blue violet light blue orange so I typically keep it like on a blue color I figure it kind of goes with the silver of the truck but when you open the door, check this out. Open the door, turns red. Automatic. Just in case there's a car driving by, it kind of lights up in red colors here. That works on both front doors and back doors all together. So we're gonna see if we can change that. All right guys, so we're gonna start like always with our ELM 327. I'm gonna put it, plug it in, in the OBD2 port. Make sure it goes all the way in. Mine are always down. You can get up here on the side. This way. Okay. And we're going to visit for scan. There it goes. Um, don't forget to turn the truck on. All right, we're going to hit OK here. All right, we're going to connect first in the bottom left. Connect the vehicle. Make sure it's in the on position. OK, it automatically registered. This is my truck, so yes. Let everything load. Do we have the switch? Yes. We're going to flip the switch. And I'm going to click OK. And we're waiting for it to say ready here. There it is. It's ready. Right? All right. So now we can go into configuration. All right. So now we're going to open up the spreadsheet. And we're going to click over here in the BCM. We're looking for the BCM. Body control module. And we're looking to change the jar color. All right, so if we're looking at 726.31-01, that second digit in the first set of numbers is what controls the color of the open door. So 726.31.01, right? Should I open two of these? This computer's too slow. All right. All right. Go into as built, and we're going to go into here where it says run play, right? We need to flip the switch back to high and hit OK. Read the warnings, if you agree, okay. Let all the blocks load. Okay, before you make any changes to any one of these blocks, every time you should always save all. Call it stock, you know, 2020, whatever you wanna call it, give it a date and hit okay. And that way, if you ever need to load them, you can click load all, choose the stock version that you saved, hit OK, and then save, or I'm sorry, write. And it writes them all originally how they were in the beginning. It'll save you a big headache. I do have another video where I can tell you, show you how to find your original stock as built uh, data. But this, this, this way you don't have to 
figure it out. It's all saved, right? All right, so now we're going to go to 72631. There it is, 72631. 726301. If you go back at the spreadsheet, you see that second digit is a three. The three means red, right? So we're going to switch the color. Let's see if we can do green so it'll be a strong contrast. Okay, so we're going to switch it to four. Backspace, four, and right. Are you sure? We're going to hit yes. Everything might cycle off and on. Everything worked okay. All right. We're going to stop now, the bottom here. And we'll stay connected, but now we're going to turn the truck on, okay? So really just push the brake and turn it on. So now let's see. We've got a blue light right now. Let's turn the lights on because it doesn't work unless the lights are on. So we're under blue. Open the door. It turned green. That's pretty cool. So that worked. Let's try one of the other blocks now. Let's turn this off. But leave it on. Alright. And you can also do this with the truck on itself. It'll work too. Alright, so we're going to click back to programming up here. Same as built. We're going to click run again. Alright, we're going to look again for the same section seven oh too far the body the bcm has a bunch of options there's all kinds of things you can do on here so this is the one we changed a little while ago so let's see what else we can change i think there's one just for the courtesy so let's see that's this one Ambient lighting on off, courtesy, door lock indicator, ambient lighting, entry color. When you enter or exit the vehicle, right? It's an independent color from the APIM screen. So no matter what you have on your actual screen, this is going to be a different color. So as soon as you go in, let's see if we can switch this to red. All right? These are the same exact colors. Each these, these colors have codes. But now we're looking at the second set in actual... Actually, this one's going to be in 726-3102, second set of numbers, first digit, okay? Seven twenty six thirty one zero two, second set of numbers, first digit. So it looks like mine is a zero. Let's see what it's like. Let's see what the zero is. means ice blue. That's pretty much what it does whenever you get in and out of the vehicle. It's a light blue color. So let's make it orange. Orange one. Down here. That's right there. Okay, we're going to backspace and make it a one. And we're going to write, uh, double check everything. 726 30, 3102, the second digit is the only thing I changed. Right. Are you sure? Yes, it's going to I need a whole change here. Alright, so now still green color because the lights are off. Lights are on. So the lights are off now. It's blue. Can't tell it's still green. No, that's an orangey color. Kind of yellowish. But let's turn the truck on. Because you see it's blue right now. Off. It's red. No, that's orange. 
That's the real orange color. Let's turn the lights on. So ambient lighting is just going to be, when the truck is off, you're just going in or out of it, it's going to turn orange. Let's change the color so it can be more uh, recognizable. I'm going to change this uh, one here. Backspace, and we're going to change it to a seven. Seven should be white. I'm going to write it like this. All right, I'm going to turn the truck off. And I'm going to turn it back on. And there it is, a white color now. Turns into that green color again. Alright, it's white now. That's white. So that is white. So only when the truck is on. I'm sorry, off. When the truck is off, it actually changes the color. Alright, figure out which one of these colors you like the best. If you have the ambient lighting, even if you don't have the ambient lighting, it's still something you can go and try because a lot of these trucks do have the lighting. It's just now the newer version is the one color. Um, but the module has the ability to change the color. So if the module is still the same, I really don't know if it is or not, but if the module is still the same from the old 2015-16 versions, um, then you might be able to change that yourself. Right. All right, so then don't forget to hit stop. And you can go back to the little vehicle here on the very top left, the little car. And you can unplug here. And you can turn it off. All right, so I wanted to take a second to go over this also. This is the tray that goes in the middle of the compartment here. But it doesn't take, I mean, it doesn't hold very much, but it does move side to side to make it easier to access stuff. But I ended up finding this one here online. I think it was like you know, 15 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. And it comes with a even little rubber mats underneath it. In case you need to clean it, just remove the mats. And you can still remove it easily and still have access to everything else underneath. And a pretty cool thing also is it does have space for your wire to go on in, in or out on the side here. All right, so then this one, I just kept it in case we need it later, but um, for now, it's in the garage. All right, guys, so that's it. Thanks again for watching another one of these videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out some of the other videos I got. Hinty. Just doing a full. Doing a full. Hmm.